Hi, Vicki Lynn here. So, um, today we're going to talk about manifestation. Wait a minute. Stuck going on right here. So today we're going to talk about manifestation and how to bring forth that manifestation into your life and how are you bringing forth the manifestation things that are coming into your life. And um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about my journey. Last night the course was amazing. It was literally amazing. It's very very powerful. Very powerful. So. Thank you. Thank you, Arianne. Thank you, my Descending Masters. Thank you for always being here. Thank you for guiding me and um, going with the process and just trusting the flow and trusting what's happening in my life. And um, and that's what I do. I just trust. I trust that everything's going to be taken care of. And it is. It literally is being taken care of. So, um, but we're going to talk about manifesting. So I'm going to let Arion come through and let's talk about it. Um, on my perception, on my, uh, what I visualize it in my life is that um, you can just focus on it and then just bring it forward and feel into that energy. We're going to connect at heart center. They really don't even want me to put my perspective on it. So whatever that means, I'm just guided, literally. And so Ariane and them, they're already here. They're already in the waiting. They're already, yeah, excited about coming through. So we're going to connect at heart center. We're going to connect. Wow. Uh, we're going to... <laughs> I just love this because they're telling me, get that, get that. <laughs> I just love it. So, and I trust. So um, connect to uh, Mother Gaia and also to the video that I'm going to put on after this is we're going to do a meditation and we're going to connect at a in a meditation state so that'll be the next one that I do right after this video so um, we're going to connect to Mother Gaia right now connect you will feel her breathe her up take a deep breath connect it you will feel it through your feet to your heart now we're connecting to source. Hey, Ariane here, and we are now connecting to Heart Center. Yes, we have been sitting in the background waiting for this to come forward. We are very excited about this moment, about this timeline, about this hmm, planetary dimension that was being brought forward from the seventh, fifth, and ninth dimension that are being brought forward. And yes, we are bringing forward the the energy of manifestation. We are connecting right now at Heart Center. Hmm. It's like a plugging in. And we are clearing your energy fields as you are even connected. So fill into your energy fields, dear ones. Fill around you. We are clearing this collective now, making you stronger, more connected. <sighs> we are 12 beings of light that are here right now participating at this timeline at this very moment and bringing forward our Selves, the energy of manifestation. We will use the words, the easiest way for you to even understand this. We are bringing forward what you would call a frequency which manifestation is in tune to. So you will feel that frequency lock in to your heart centered. You will feel it at the center of your heart. And if you do not feel it in time, you will. We are locking you into this frequency because you are always manifesting. But if you are on a frequency of higher level, you manifest at a greater level. <coughs> <coughs> Not that you are not manifesting always. You are manifesting every time, every moment of every second, every time you put out energy. But if your frequency is of a, or vibration is of a lower level, that is what you are putting out. So if you are putting out, we will use this word, um, 
lower frequencies of what you would call like drama or blame or anger, then that is what comes back to you. You are putting that out every second of every moment. You are putting out an energy that is manifesting what comes back to you. In that manifesting frequency, you are always manifesting. Every moment of every second of every moment of every timeline, of every dimension, you are manifesting. But we will explain it as like a video game. Say all these pieces to the part. You're inside the game. You are playing the character. Inside the character that you are playing, there is many things that are out here for you. Many things. You see them in your video games. You can go to what you would call the... Hmm, the treasure chest. And yes, this is literally like a treasure chest to you that you have set up on your timeline for it to be brought forward to you. So when that manifestation comes in, when that hmm, frequency comes in, it will come in at a level that you are playing. Say that you are throwing the... Mm, we will say a car. You want to produce a new car. You want to produce a new vehicle. So in that producing, where does your frequency lie? What are you putting out to the universe? Is it a mm, dogma? Is it a mm, 3D consciousness? Is it a... Mm, Mm, uh, the blame game is what we will put that at. And we are working on you because there is many triggers that is being brought up about that, about what you think about that, about, but in that it is a absolute of what is playing out, out here. Even in that, it can change frequency. Frequencies change all the time. So if you put out and you want a new vehicle, and you are in a frequency that does that does serve you but does not serve you so you put out for a new vehicle so you get a used vehicle because you are showing the worth the frequency that you are holding back. Not that that is good and bad. It is not good and bad. But it holds to what you believe you are worthy of. It goes to the worthiness that you think that you are worthy of. If um, There are many uh, beings, light beings, that are in the 3D world that have Hmm, lots of money in that they produce because they know and they truly believe that they are worthy of these most expensive cars. And yes, they do. They be, they're brought forward to them. But then as soon as they buy them, there is an emptiness inside of them. Oh, hmm, that did not make me feel any better. That, 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 that did nothing for me. It didn't make me feel any better. Now I just have something new to hmm, wash, to take care of. More stuff to take care of, but the fulfillment is not inside your body. You, the fulfillment you're looking for is outside your body. So if you are looking and bringing in a frequency of manifesting out here, there will be no... Hmm, gratification in it in long term. It may be gratifying for that very moment, but it will fade off and then you will seek something else. And then you will seek something from that and seek something from that until you realize everything that you have around you does not make you feel any different. Does not make you feel any better. Does not mm, make the inside feel better. It doesn't make anything change. So when you are manifesting, which you are manifesting at, a, at, at every moment, at every second, you are pushing the energy out, and then it comes back to you. If you are at a higher frequency, you are pushing it out, but it is coming back within you. 
You are not seeking, and we are not talking about being taken care of. We are talking about being taken care of, but if you see yourself as being worthy, the universe, as this channel, takes care of you because you are worthy. You are worthy to have everything. You are worthy to have the best. When you are at a higher frequency, your worthiness changes. It is inside of you. It is not on the exterior of you. Hmm, somebody who is rich and thinks that, hmm, hmm, um, that is rich and puts lots of stuff around them, they feel no self-worth. They see the self-worth and the money that they create, but there is not happiness inside of that. You see it playing out on your hmm, on your earth plane. You see it in many, many things of these rich people, as you call that, that are lonely, that are on drugs, that are trying to escape their world. And then you see beings that you would call hmm, poor. And literally, they are richer than the richest people in the world because they are fulfilled in their manifestation of their heart, of their body, of their energy field. But you would see them as poor and not that you would have to live as poorness. It's just the frequency that you are holding and what you are putting out changes. That does not mean so much to you. This channel knows and feels that she is worthy of the best. But she lives in a tiny little place that some would call even a shack. But she is happy. The love expands from there. She will create greatness. She is creating greatness. Greatness is coming to her. For she is putting that out there. So in this manifestation, if you are putting it out there, but you're always seeking it, always seeking it, always seeking it, looking for something to fulfill me here, looking for something to fulfill me there, you are just always doing. It is always out here. There is no fulfillment. The gratification is very short-lived. There's no fulfillment in the end. The fulfillment starts with the worthiness inside. <sighs> And the power that you are. And the light that you radiate. Once your light radiates out, it manifests as that. And your world is taken care of. Great things are happening to this channel, to all beings who are having great worth in their body, in their energy field. That is connection to manifestation at a great level. At a great level. World are changing. Things are showing up fast. Whatever you're manifesting, what energy are you putting out? What are you putting out to the frequency? So witness that. Do not judge it. And if it is bad, if it is a blame it, if it is a, oh, I do not like it, that person, blah, blah, blah. If it is a bad, try better next time. We will take this word try better out. Do better. Be better. Be better is perfectly. Be better. Do not judge that you were. Oh, I'm going to be better. I am better already. It's that easy, dear ones. So think about and watch what you are manifesting. All these, like a videotape, are treasures in a treasure box that are being brought forward to you. The most amazing, hmm, yes, the most amazing things that can be brought forward to you are your inner self, is your power, is your ability, is your light, is your frequency, is your love, is your power expanding. Witness that, dear one. So when you want things, is it just a want? I want this, I want that, I want this, I want this, this is going to be better, this is going to be better, this is going to be better. And in the end, there is no fulfillment. You see it time after time after time after time at time after time after time with these rich ones. Find the richness within yourself. Put out 
the frequency to the manifestation of what you truly want. Do the work within. Work through this course that has been brought up that will raise your frequency fast. This is your choice, dear ones. This is all your choice. So, as you walk through this day, what frequency are you putting out to the world? Pay attention. Do not judge it, but pay attention. Because that's what you're receiving back. And if you are blaming somebody, they are innocent in that. That is your stuff. And if they are blaming you, that is their stuff. You are innocent unless you engage. We are with you. We are with you. So if you want to manifest these treasures which are coming to you, what frequency are you putting out? And what energy is being sustained inside of this body, inside of this frequency, inside of this best soul? Do you feel good in your body? Does your environment feel good when you walk into it? If not, clear it up. Clean it up. Let go of clutter. Stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. That is great manifestation. Letting go of the old so the new can come in inside of this body. Not a materialistic stuff. But letting go of materialistic stuff clears your energy field too. For your environment is an experience of yourself. So if you do not want to go within and see what it looks like in there, look at your environment. What are you manifesting? Is it just a bunch of stuff that you have to dust that sits on a shelf that does? Hmm, I've seen it year after year after year after year after year and it still doesn't make me feel any better. Think about that. You are manifesting at a great rate. Manifest the power you are. Manifest the lightness you are. You are doing that in every moment of every second. So, breathe into this energy of manifesting. Feel what energy level that you are at. We are with you always, dear ones. Always. We send love and light to you all. I do. Wow. <coughs> wow. Wow, I'm hot. They just like heated up my system. Really, they did. I could feel that was a powerful, wow, powerful, powerful, powerful healing. Wow. I know that it was going to be about manifesting. I know that uh, Arion is going to bring forth that right now as a channel. When I when I come out of it, it's like a dream fading away. I know it was about manifestation. I don't know exactly. I don't know anything that was said, actually. I just know it was about manifestation. But I want to bring forward, um, subscribe to my channel, change your life, do the course of life. It's Tuesday nights at 6 o'clock through Zoom. It's $55 a night. It'll change your life. It is inner work. It is showing you how to go inside and receive the worthiness that you are. Become the worthiness that you are. Become the light and the power that you are. Just by working on yourself, it changes your outer world. There's no way it can't. There's no way it can't. So with that, we're going to bring forward the Ascending Masters. We're going to pull a card for the Ascending Masters. And yes, manifestation, it's all out there. It literally is. What are you bringing towards you? Really, really, really. If you were, and it's so funny, if you think, and this is how we manifest it. In my perception, it's so funny that they didn't want me to do it before, but they want me to do it after, right? So um, let me give a good one. Okay, say you're going to go into a store, but you usually don't have a good experience inside of a store. Well, you've already manifested that because you already know that you haven't good, 
had a good situation in going inside the store. So um, you are already feeling that tension before you even go in the store. So when you go into the store, you, you have manifest not to have a good experience. So, or if you're going to get on, okay, I'll use a great one. Okay, call an AT&T. Right? So what I do now when I call AT&T or the utility companies that you go through 1,400 different uh, uh, robotic people, um, I ask for the highest and best of what uh, is to happen on this phone call for it to happen gently and easier. And then it'll I'll do it within moments. And I'm changing how that experience is going to be because I don't want it to manifest it to be uh, dramatic or for it to be going through different people telling the same story over and over again. So when you're manifesting something, um, if you believe that it's going to be one way, it will be that way because you manifested it that way. Change it. Change it. So by changing that experience is by like going within, holding your power. When I walk in, everybody's going to be on the same level as me. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. It will change your experience, literally. And don't assume that people know stuff because people don't know anything. Don't assume nothing of anything because if you're assuming something, that's ego. That's completely ego. Don't assume. So if you want to know a question, be, be, uh, be in your power. You know, if you need to talk to the manager because you don't like the way the employers are, be in your power. It's all right to be tactful and say um, every time, wow, and I don't know even why I'm bringing this up, but every time I walk into Hope Depot, people say that they they don't have something, but then I find that I, they did. Maybe the manager doesn't know that people don't know where stuff is. So bring it forward and say every time I walk in here, um, the people in Home Depot, they don't know where nothing is. You know what I mean? So before you walk in, say, before I go into Home Depot, I'm going to talk to the manager and everybody will know where everything is. Now is never before. And it is so. Literally. Absolutely. So tell your truth. You don't have to be harsh. You don't have to be anything. You don't even just but go inside your energy and hold your energy because they can feel your energy. If you go in there all happy and puffy, they're going to feel that too. People feel your energy. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay, so, oh, wow, 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 and look at the card we got, be persistent about that, be persistent about what you're putting out there, be persistent about your life, literally, work on you, literally work on you and witness this, literally, witness your journey, and what are you literally putting out there, what are you putting out to the world, what are you putting out to the world, so, yes, <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Wow, 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 wow. And I noticed that I haven't been saying wow. And actually it was brought up last night in the group. And um, I've changed that and things are changing. And that's what they're doing. They're changing stuff. And I love it because this is all about change. Change is in motion all the time, right? Don't fear it. Love it. Love it. And I'm excited because I'm manifesting my bathroom to be done tomorrow. I want it to be done. I'm over it. No water for a week. I'm over it. I send love to that. I send love to all of that. Absolutely. So, and even in that overness, I'm going to let go of all that because I felt the power behind that. So send love to all that. Whatever's triggering that, that love on me. Thank you. Because I've literally, it's made me appreciate all of this. All of this. All of this. Absolutely. And water is clearing energy. Right? Right. Absolutely. So what are we talking about? <laughs> Spiritual law of attraction. And this is everything that we have talked about. How do you manifest? Spiritual law of attraction. Absolutely. If your frequency is at a lower frequency, that's what you're going to experience. You're going to bring the stuff in, but it's emptiness. The stuff is empty. So but if you bring it in and your frequency is high, it's full. Feeling. It's completely fulfilling. And that just came through me right now. So I didn't even think of it that way ever. So thank you, Ariane, for showing that, for coming through. I love validation of the cards. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It is spiritual law of attraction. What you put out, you get back. Literally, literally. So manifest the best for yourself, not material stuff. It's not fulfilling. It's not. So I send love to all of you. Subscribe to my channel. Change your life. 
Speak your truth. That's what Arion is telling me right now. Speak your truth. Not harshly. Calmly. Peacefully. I send love and light to all of you. May you all be blessed. If you want a reading or a healing or to join the course on Tuesday night, that will change your life. A healing will change your life. A healing will change your life. So, I bless you all and may you be blessed. Subscribe to my channel. You are amazing beings.